How are you? This is Oliver Fernandez with The Imperfect Entrepreneur. And today I'm gonna to share with you a big mistake that we made in 2022. And we almost made it in 2023, but we cleaned it up and we're, we're moving it forward. So I always give wins about my, my, uh, my family, my, my wife, my daughter, and my son. And I was realizing that it's always front and heavy loaded to like my wife and my daughter. So I'm gonna share a win with my son. My son, uh, he's starting to walk now. Like he gets on those little stroller things and he literally walks the walks the walks our our kitchen, um, dining room, living room area. And he's loving it. And I'm loving watching him do it. I can't wait for my uh, for my kids to start playing together. Um, I heard I heard a parent say this one time and I was like, man, I cannot wait to use this. And he's like, the reason why I had two of you guys is so that you guys can go play together. So I can't wait to use that when they're both walking and both can wrestle and tussle and have fun together. So, um, yeah, so the, a big mistake that we made in 2022, and it was all about courage. Like, we didn't have the courage to step into it, was that we didn't do our team team meetings in the morning. Like, we, we were doing them one day a week, but we weren't doing them every day of the week, right? And once we started doing them every day of the week, like it was like a game changer for the organization. It was like everybody was like in sync. It felt like we we had a moment to sync together, uh, especially one day, like in the morning, you know, five to 10 or 15 minutes. And we have people that are all over the United States, like Texas, Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, DC, Pennsylvania. Like this meeting allowed us all to get together, all to share some ideas with each other, all to share like what we're currently working on and what we're excited about in the organization. And it released so much energy. You know, one, one thing that I, I used to try to do, and, and this is totally not scalable, so do not do this, right? Was I used to try to call the team each one every day, right? Like all of a sudden now I'm sitting on the phone with every team member and McKinsey trying to get an update on where they're at and like what, what, what like what wins they having. Like that's not scalable, 100% not scalable. You maybe have one or two team members that'll work, but you start getting 15, 25, 30, 50, 100, 200, 1,000, like that's not gonna work. So I'm so grateful that we, we finally ripped off the Band-Aid, got our courage muscle, built it up, and started doing these daily, team meetings they've they've gotten us in sync and the reason why i was saying that we almost made that mistake in 2023 because we started the mckinsey team meetings in 2022 was that the other business that we have the flooring side of the business so like we we're a general contractor mckinsey is right and we started looking at our subcontractor pool and like which ones are the which one which subcontractors are making the most amount of money and which of these subcontractors do we have team members that can fully go in and immerse themselves and really drive the business well i had a partner a, a really good friend of mine in in, in in portsmouth and he brought a flooring company to us and he was going to run it and he was he was already running it for the previous owner and we came in there and helped them buy it and we're, we're now we're helping them grow it. So that was the business that we didn't roll out the the uh, the daily meeting in 2022. We rolled it out in 2023. And this is the first week we've gone through that we've, we've actually done the daily team meeting and you can already see the growth and the connection and the um, just everybody coming together. And then that business also has even more employees than than McKinsey, the GC has, right? Like that business, I mean, we do we do installs in that business, we do deliveries, you know, like that business has 50 people, right? So it's even more important to have that daily team meeting so that we can all get on the same page and the team members that are out in the field can can know that they're not alone, right? Or the team members that are putting together estimates know that they're not alone and the people the team members that are coordinating with with the homeowners or the builders and ordering the materials and scheduling the stuff are all know each other got each other's back and like yeah you know you got each other's back but it's nothing better to everybody jump on a call first thing in the morning you guys we hear where the business is at from like a sales perspective 
uh, operations perspective, money collection perspective. So we're being transparent throughout the whole organization. So like everybody knows where everybody's at and then we can all disperse and go do the things that are going to help drive that those results. And the first week, the first meeting was like, you know, everybody was kind of like feeling it out. The second meeting, you know, people are still kind of feeling it out. And I, and I told my, my team, I was like, we got to make it awkward. Like when we ask for wins, we got to get wins. Like, even if you got to give it a second for people to start chiming in, we have to get awkward with it. So the second meeting, we got a little awkward with it. And, and I even called out a couple of people. Hey, Amy, what do you got for a win? Hey, hey, Sav, what do you got for a win? Hey, Ashley, what do you got for a win? Right. And these people started sharing wins. And then the next day it was awesome. I mean, like, People were just, hey, I want to unmute myself and share a win, you know. And the reason why we want to share wins, right, is because so many people, even doing, even doing like our daily training. So we have a daily training that we do, right? And it's all those five. There's five segments. There, there's, there's, we do three segments, and they're each five minutes long. So that's 15 minutes worth of daily training that we do every single day. And all our team members are expected to do it. And, and that training right like some people will find everything about why that training isn't a good fit for them like i'm not in sales well that's the biggest un, uh biggest mistruth that you're that you're believing right now because everybody's in sales like even when you're going to your 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 employer and 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 and, and trying to tell them that the value that or and show them the value that you're you're bringing to the organization you're selling yourself then. So if you're sitting here telling yourself you're not in sales, you're just gonna stay. You're just gonna stay in that same spot because you're not willing to go out there and persuade someone or show someone or uh, you know add so much value so that like you can continue to escalate in life, right? So like you have team members that are like literally they find everything that's wrong with the training. So what do these wins do? These wins start to reprogram our mind. They start to give us, like, start to see wins in our life. So we get one person that shares there's a win, and then they get another person that shares there's a win. And then that, that triggers another person that didn't think they had a win, but now actually did have a win because their win was bigger than the other person's win, right? And then now all of a sudden, they're, they're not just seeing everything that's wrong. They're starting to see what's right. And when you can start to see what's right, now all of a sudden, it, that's where the game gets fun, right? Because there's always opportunities around us, right? There's always businesses. There's all. It's 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 just a mindset, you know. I heard I heard one of my mentors say uh, this guy, the guy Dr. Miles Monroe. He's like, there's certain people that they they get uh, education or they move to an area, and then the first thing they look for is a job. The first thing they look for is a job, and that's a mindset thing, right? And then there's other people that. The first thing they look for when they move to an area or when they get a degree or they get like some sort of a certification is they look for a business to buy. That's a mindset. That doesn't have anything to do with anything else except for finding the opportunities and getting yourself to find the wins instead of just focusing on what you can't do, right? And and, and the, like Dr. Miles Monroe is saying that like the people who found, uh, like found the look for businesses we're way better off than the people who just look for jobs. That wasn't what I said. That was what he said. And I, and I, and I believe that, right? So like, it's all a mindset. And like, this is what we're doing. We're training our team members so that they can find the wins so they, they can find the opportunities that they change their mindset. Instead of finding everything that's wrong, let's start finding what's right. Cause what's right is out there. We just need to find it. And once we find it, now we can start multiplying it. So, now we got 50 team members looking for wins instead of one person or two people or five people in an organization. We got 50 people looking for wins. Do you think we're going to win more? Do you think we're going to start making the right decision more so that we can win more? I believe we will. I know we will. I've seen it happen for my own life. I've seen it happen in my, in my current with my, my current leadership team that I've been working with. And then now it's like now we're going to roll it out to the whole team. So I'm I'm excited about the the, the team meetings. I'm, and I'm you know it was a big mistake that we didn't start it sooner in 2022, and it, it was almost a big mistake in 2023 not to not to get it rolling. But I was the first thing that I put on my team's list, and I was like, we got to focus on this. We got to get this off the ground. We have to focus on this. We got to whatever we do, we'll get. We got to start it. 
And then we can keep tweaking, we can keep tweaking, we can keep refining, we can keep re getting better. And that's what the team has done. I mean, now we're rolling it out to other team members in terms of like the moderation. So like, that's another thing that like blew my mind from the beginning. When we started doing this at McKinsey, we started seeing the personalities of your other team members, right? Like now all of a sudden they're in a presentation mode and like, you know, it's real easy to like kind of be distracted or not paying attention when, when somebody else is presenting, right? But when you know that it's you're gonna your turn is coming up in a week or two weeks or three weeks, and that you're gonna need to also per, be presenting, and you want people to pay attention to you, you're more likely to start paying attention, right? And start being engaged and start giving good feedback, and and it just and it allows people in the organization to grow, and you start to see their personalities, right? And that's what we need. We need people in an organization to grow, like. If you're a business owner and you're like a solopreneur and, and, and you first start off and you make your goal is to make a hundred thousand, then you make a million. Like what happened between the hundred thousand and the million? I can guarantee what happened in between the hundred thousand and the million is that you definitely had some growth in there, right? So imagine if you have 50 team members and you want your business to grow. Like what's the best way to get your business to grow? It's to grow those team members. Get them comfortable speaking in front of people. I'd rather them get comfortable speaking in front of the team than get comfortable in speaking in front of people in front of our clients. Like when you're when you're when you're going to the going to someone's house and you're going to install their products or you're going to you know help them figure out what products they need. Like I don't want them getting comfortable speaking with people then. I want them getting comfortable speaking with us and, and we can and we can practice drill and rehearse. We can, we can get better, we can tweak, we can make things, make things more streamlined. And that's exactly what these meetings do. They give us that opportunity to come together, sync for five, 10 or 15 minutes a day. Like today's meeting was 10 minutes. Tomorrow's meeting might be 20. But average out, it's like five, 10 or 15 minutes. And we all get to come together and, 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 and add value to each other. You know, I've had team members say like, oh, that, you know, I don't, you know, why do I got to join that meeting? Like, that, well, that meeting doesn't have anything to do with me. I already know that that person's selfish. They're only thinking about themselves. Like the, 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 the wins and the ahas that you're sharing in your life, you think that's, you're the only person that's going through that? You're the only person that, that will ever go through that? Imagine that win or that, 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 that golden nugget that you shared on the team meeting gives someone else inspiration for when they go through that th same thing in a week or two weeks to continue to push through it and get to the finish line. And maybe because of that, they don't, you know, destroy their life because they think everything's over. All right. So it's, it's all about like, and th those are our core values is, is to be inspirational, right? Like, the, like in, it's inspirational from like having a, a positive mindset. Right. And those are things that like, I, I, I will be 100% honest with you. My mindset used to be so negative. So negative. It wasn't until I started getting into watching Les Brown and watching Eric Thomas and watching all these guys that they they started getting me to think a different way, seeing a different perspective. And then all of a sudden, my mindset started getting a little bit more positive and, and like, wh wh how can I find the opportunity? And it's not over till I win. You know, all of those things. So, like... Those core values are are, are, are important, and, and like by having these team meetings, we can go through our core values, and and and, and you're now starting to see them become even more prevalent throughout the organization, more 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 abundant throughout the organization, more plentiful, more like just just more throughout the organization. And I'm excited about that. I I'm, I'm really excited. You can already see the team gelling. You can see everybody having fun, putting out little jokes and stuff. And now it's like. And it's also getting people prepared, right? Like it's it's you get a, you, you get a little embarrassed when you join the call and you're like, oh, I don't have a win. Like, how do you not have a win? Like you're not doing your training, or or like you're not paying attention. So like it puts it puts you on the spot a little bit. Like, and I love that because anytime there's been pressure on any situation of me in life, I've always grown. Pressure will either burst the pipe. Right, like, and we got a lot of burst pipes in up in New Hampshire and Maine where I grew up. There's a lot of burst pipes right now. The weather's negative four. If you forgot that the heat didn't 
got turned off or you didn't pay your oil bill and then and it got cold like your your pipes freeze and then once it starts to thaw on that that the pressure in the, in the pipe when it freezes it, it makes a hole in the pipe so then when it starts to thaw on the water just starts coming out everywhere so it's a big mess or pressure can make a diamond like diamonds diamonds are in the ground and like the pressure of the earth crystallizes that diamond so do you want to be the burst pipe or be the diamond? I want to be the diamond, so I'm willing to take on the pressure. I'm willing to work through the, the issues because I know what the end outcome is going to be. The end outcome, taking care of my family, building a bigger bigger lifestyle where I can, you know, help other people. You know, I have the ability to help other people. Like I always wanted to help other people, but there's a difference between wanting to help other people, but having the ability to help other people right and not helping other people at the detriment of yourself right like like ha having your cake and eating it too right like seeing getting people like I, one of the things i love doing too is like helping my team members win like seeing my team member come in at 100 grand and now making 150 grand like i i love uh, seeing a team member coming in coming in and now becoming an accredited investor which means you're making over 200 grand like i love seeing that those, those are the targets not that i have but targets that they have seeing team members that no one in their family is a millionaire and they want to be a millionaire i'm willing to show them how to become a millionaire and it's gonna it's gonna be a lot of energy and effort and work, but I'm willing to to guide them and, and be their guide and point the flashlight. Hey, you see that flashlight? Like, I got the flashlight. You need to go right there, not here, not there, but right there. And then like, it's for you to run through that hole. Just like when my my football coach used to tell me, Oliver, those who linger get the finger, and you know you know what the finger is, right? So it's like, what he wanted you to do is hit the hole, hit the hole, Lolly, hit the hole. So you gotta hit the hole. Like when that hole opens, you gotta hit it. Don't let that, don't let that running back start building steam coming down on you, right? You gotta hit the hole and meet the running back there. And then you both have full butt, butt of steam. And I got a big head and this thing is like hard as a rock. And you know what's really cool? I'm gonna give my son another shout out. He's got a rock as a head. It's like, so sometimes he hits me with it. With it. I'm like, geez, man, you're gonna knock me out. But like I used to love it was like it was like two rams like running in each other. So like I'd run into that hole like and I wasn't the biggest guy, you know, I was 225, but some of those running backs 250, 260, you know. So hit that fullback that's 270, you know. But I would put, I would get in there and, and and mix mix it up a little bit. So you got to hit the hole, right? So if you have a business and you want to get that business in alignment with your core values and the things that you that are important in your organization. What has worked for us is is rolling out that team meeting. What has worked for us is holding our team members accountable to that team meeting. It's also it's also another good it's also a good thing from like being um, like a box checker, right? But you got a team member that wants to raise, wants wants to be promoted in the organization, but they don't ever show up to the stuff that's important to the organization, like you know that they're not in it for themselves and not for, for the organization. So with that, let's go out there and continue to grow. Let's continue to learn. Let's continue to build our legacy. Let's roll.